What is up YouTube and welcome back to another full day of eating. For some reason you guys love these things, I feel like I'm eating the same goddamn thing every day, but I try and switch it up when I can because it's actually good for your body to switch food up. And it's one of those things where I get really lucky sometimes because I get like sick of foods, so I need to eat something else. So I'll eat something every single day for like two months and then all of a sudden I don't want to eat anymore and I switch to something else. And that actual like nutrient variability is actually really good for your gut, getting diff different nutrients into your system. When people build food intolerances, especially in bodybuilding, it's usually from stuff that you're just eating too much. So it could be white rice, chicken, egg whites, whatever the fuck you eat like too much, can actually end up being bad for you. If you're someone who can handle it forever, it's good for you. Don't overthink this, it's not something crazy. But a lot of people will build food intolerances where they start to get like bloated or digestion goes down the drain, you're going to the bathroom's not as good as it should be. So it's one of those things you can consider. But yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna make some pancakes today because that's what we're getting into. I haven't had pancakes in a long time, so we're gonna go after it. Normally, Courtney, Courtney is the master at these. We're limited with ingredients right now, so I think I really just have banana, oats, and eggs right now, but we're gonna get after it because I'm hungry as fuck. All right, so first up, I'm putting my eggs in here. I like to put my eggs in the bottom because when the liquid's at the bottom, the other shit is less likely to get stuck to the blender. At least that is my theory. I typically do three whole eggs and one egg white. So, I usually like to do my egg white first in case I fuck it up, which I feel like I'm about to. But if I have four eggs, it's not the end of the world. All right, so next I'm gonna throw my oats in here. I have been doing 80 grams of oats. I'll typically bump this up a little bit later on, but I'm getting enough food in throughout my day right now that I don't need over 100 grams of oats. So 80 grams of oats, that's what kind of like makes like the flour in the batter when you're blending it. And then I put half a banana. If you've seen me make these before, I've used anything between like cooked mashed sweet potato and pumpkin. Pumpkin works really well too. And this is just so they don't get like, not even the camera, this is so they don't get too hard. Like you need something soft that's not gonna cook, like the sweet potato or this, the banana, so it doesn't get like hard, if that makes sense. It stays nice and moist in the middle. Next is protein powder. I typically do like three quarters of a scoop of, I like to use my bum protein. I use this if I want it to be like vanilla flavored or sometimes if I like a little more chocolate, using the Jack Factory chocolate peanut butter one, tastes crack like two. Finally, I like to put vanilla extract in, especially when doing vanilla flavored protein because this stuff just makes it taste really good. I don't know how much of that I do. I just pour in that amount that you saw. It's random every single time. So just wing it. Also, if you want them to taste even better, put a shit ton of salt in the batter and it, not a shit ton, but a good amount of salt in the batter and it gives it like, I don't know, when you process food, often the reason it tastes really good is uh, the shit in it, but also the salt, the sodium. So it tastes stuff good and if you're a bodybuilder and you're actually hydrating properly, it's actually good to have a lot of salt, so get after it. But because I don't have the best kidneys in the world and I have my autoimmune, I don't have a lot of salt, so that's an option you guys can try. But this is literally all I put in here. It's super basic, it's pretty much like I'm having my eggs and my oats and a shake, but I blend it together and it tastes that much better. Okay, I lied, there's one more thing I forgot to, I almost forgot to put in, and this has been my like secret trick to these. I personally like thinner pancakes, especially when like it feels like I have a lot of food to get down. So I like to put like a dash or two of almond milk in there. I don't know how much, again, I don't measure it, so you guys can just like try and guess how much I'm putting in. But this just makes the texture when they cook a little thinner and to me, a little nicer and easier to eat. Just like a random amount of almond milk in there. And that's obviously the preference too. Like I like when my batter's a little bit runny. If you want it thick, then I wouldn't do that because, you know, thick is good. But not for me today, this morning. So the next trick for making pancakes the way I like them is I like to make sure the pan is like searing hot. So I'll get some water on my hand and like flick it on and if it sizzles, they go then you're good to go. And I personally like to do like a bunch of little pancakes or medium size. So I'll just throw four on there when it's nice and hot and get after it. All right, so final product. These are the most basic pancakes I've ever made. So if you guys wanna try pancakes at home, these are the ones to try. Probably not the best tasting, but they're easy to make. Final product is I just throw some peanut butter on there. 
I prefer almond butter, but sadly we are out. Courtney fed it all to Pudson because she's a priority over me. But it's just the way she goes, you know, dogs come first. But I just lather some of this on there and then I go to town and eat it because I'm starving right now. But yeah, that's breakfast. I'm gonna enjoy this right now and then I will see you guys for the next meal. Camera action. <laughs> All right, so meal number two, this is the most boring meal, so I won't dawdle on it. It's gonna be some good old chicken and rice. But this chicken is actually fire. This is a chipotle chicken. It's chipotle barbecue. It's chipotle yeah. barbecue. Do we have any of it left to show? Somewhere, so. probably. But this is our freezer. Literally just meat from True Local. They, I think they ship all across the US now, at least Midwest and all of Canada. But this is where I get all my meat now. It's like local farms and actually clean meat. So that's where I get everything right now. I don't even have to go to the grocery store, which is really nice. But it's 160, 170 grams of chicken breast. It's gonna be 260 grams of white rice, which is finishing up. And what taste, makes it taste delicious is this broccoli thrown in the oven. This is how Courtney cooks it. I, this is her cooking it, it's not my skill. It's, how long do you put it in there from frozen? Um, from If the broccoli is frozen, you have to put it in for at least like 30 to 35 minutes and it gets like crispy and then you gotta throw a little olive oil on it and some sea salt and it's fire. There you have olive oil, sea salt, and 35 minutes from frozen or like less if it's not. But it gets the broccoli like crunchy and crisp and really good. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna throw a little bit of olive oil on the meal as well, like 15 grams probably in the rice and mix that all up for a little extra calories and that's gonna be meal number two. I don't know how to stop. <laughs> All right, here's the exciting final product. Some good old chicken, rice, and broccoli. Can't be more of a basic bitch than this. So the total calories of this are 722 calories. So it's a bit of a lighter meal because it's just super clean. So we're gonna add some more fun stuff later in the day for calories, right babe? Yep. Maybe, <laughs> hopefully a pizza. Hopefully a homemade pizza. That's what my fingers are crossed that Courtney makes something special like that. So we'll see, we'll see. Something's good, at least add our chicken wings. But for now, I'm gonna get down this boring meal and see you in the next one. Daddy's grilling. <laughs> is it, it's not recording, is it? It is. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Alright, so meal number three, we're going full dad mode right now in the background where we're gonna grill up some burgers. These are also from True Local. They're pre cut, they're very thin, but they're sirloin patties. So they're actually like good quality meat. And we're gonna throw on four of these. I'm probably gonna have three, Courtney's gonna have one. And that's gonna be that. But they taste way better on the grill. That's how life goes. Sadly, no barbecue sauce in the house, but we'll make up for it with ketchup. All right, so while those are cooking up, I'm gonna make some sweet potatoes with it. This is a true meal right here. This is some burger and sweet potato fries. Minus the bun. I can't remember how much I put in there. I think it's 575 grams. Uh, sweet potatoes, just what two little ones were. So, it's a lot of carbs in there, but tastes delicious. Lather it in ketchup and we're good to go. Final product is done. 170 grams of sirloin patty and 575 raw weight gram of sweet potato. I'm gonna be mixing on a little bit of my famous sriracha. We've got some sriracha and ketchup because ketchup is life. All right, so this meal altogether comes to just under 800 calories, and that's not counting the oil that I put on the potatoes because I don't have no way of measuring that, but I like to put oil on my potatoes when they're cooking in the air fryer. So it keeps them, gets them a little crispy, stops them from looking like pruney and dry and soggy in there. So that's about it. I'm gonna eat this meal and see you in the next one. Meal number four is underway. It's probably blasphemy that I cook my fish like it's ground turkey or ground beef, but I literally just put it on here and then I like mash it up with like the spatula into little bits. I don't know if it's just me, but it kind of feels, I feel like it tastes less fishy that way. I don't hate fish, but I don't like really fishy fish. So I like getting the least fishy fish of the fishy fish. If you guys remember that one. But this is gonna be meal number four. It's gonna be rice and white fish, a little bit of olive oil, and I really hope I have some limes or lemons. Because normally I put nothing on this but a little salt and a bunch of lime or lemon, lemon preferably, and it tastes really good. Obviously, you guys know, if you follow my full days of eating, I don't always eat fish or beef or stuff throughout the day, but I've been trying to eat different types of food a lot more now so I don't get sick of stuff. 
especially in an off season when you're struggling to eat a lot more, there's a bunch of little tips and tricks you can do. And I really think part of the reason people start to get sick of food and eating, it's partly their body is starting to reject the food that they're actually eating. So you need to find stuff that your body is actually happy with. And sometimes you reject it because you're eating so goddamn much of it. Your body's just like, all right, we've had so much of this, like enough. So the more food you eat, the less likely that is to happen. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, it's actually really good for your gut to have more food coming through. It just creates a better healthy gut and your gut leads to overall health and all that good shit, especially for autoimmune such as myself. So I'm working on that kind of shit. I also just came back from a little walk and I'm not really doing a lot of cardio right now because I lost a little weight when I got my, sh when I got my shoulder fixed up, which I'm gonna get into another video. It's not fixed, but when I tried to get it fixed up, um, but yeah, cardio in the off season is tip number two in this little clip to help you eat more. Big factor that helps me get more meals down is going for a walk throughout the day. And it doesn't have to be like crazy cardio and it doesn't even have to be fasted at all. Sometimes, like I just did this time after meal three, we kind of like cleaned up the kitchen and then me and Courtney went for a little quick walk, like 20 minutes and I came back and the food already felt better. I had like 600 grams of sweet potato, so it was kind of a lot. So the walk kind of helped move it through and I just felt a lot better from it and now I'm ready to eat again. So good news, it's only been like an hour and a half since I ate that meal. So we're gonna get this meal down and then, I don't know, chill for the night. Maybe play some Assassin's Creed and eat one or two more times. All right, so here's the final product. It looks absolutely like shit. I'm also spilling it on the counter right now. But some plain white fish and some plain white rice. Sadly, Courtney threw out all the limes because they were rotten. So sadly, there's no lime. But I'm just gonna put on some good old coconut aminos on there. And there's a little bit of oil on there. So this meal is very small, holy shit. This is only 569 calories. So good old fish for you, low calorie, but it's good for you. I've also been trying taking this out. I've never taken it before, so I can't speak of, of it yet. But this is like a glucose disposal agent, so it's supposed to help improve your blood sugar, like intake into your body, your uptake of nutrients. I've Full transparency, never use insulin, never plan on using insulin, and this is supposed to be kind of like, obviously a very weak, weakened down version that kind of helps you with similar effects for those who don't want to do that other shit. So I'm trying this, three pills before three meals throughout the day. I'm just showing my three meals in the middle of the day, and hopefully it kind of helps me actually like use the nutrients and maybe get less tired from eating so much carbs in my off season. That's the goal, we'll see how it goes, and I'll keep you posted. All right, so meal number Five, I think it's four or five. I don't know, but me and Pudson are sharing this meal because she's hungry. She's gonna give me her bone. Just kidding. She's very protective of her bone. <laughs> but this meal is a delicious one. We didn't have any ingredients for pizza, so we're gonna have to make that another night. But we did have some leftover pierogies in the freezer, so I have what was the total 360 grams of yeah, three, pierogies yeah. which equated to a little over 600 calories and then 150 grams of chicken breast and these are like french onion flavored so i'm not gonna really put anything on them but i'm gonna throw a little bit of sriracha on the chicken and we're gonna watch yellowstone on the show here on the tv <laughs> here this is courtney's new obsession of a tv show but these pierogies are absolutely heavenly so i'm gonna enjoy these and then Probably have like a little snack or something. Courtney's baking something, so maybe have. I've been having waffles every night lately. These like gluten free waffles, which are good. But we'll see what I have after this meal. All right, so final snack meal or snack of the day is gonna be Courtney's famous oat bars. This recipe is on our Instagram somewhere if you really wanna find it. But these ones I feel like are a little better than before. They're almost more like. They're like a muffin bar peanut butter. Oh, mix. I don't know, but they're really good. So I'm having one sixth of those. She's giving me all the ingredients and they're in my fitness pal, the rest recipe. And I'm having, I have one of these every night. I have like fiber in the morning and then a scoop of this every night. It's got like probiotics, every greens and reds, AKA fruit in here that you can imagine. So just code Seabum for revive. But I drink that, it actually tastes good. Just like a chocolate drink with a nice oat bar. And this is gonna come up I divide it into even pieces so I know how much I'm eating. That's going to come up to 573 calories for that oat bar right there. So that's going to wrap it up for the day. This is just a snack before bed. I've only really been having five meals because I've been traveling and everywhere and just 
not on my game, but I'm still getting 4,500 calories, so that's all I really need right now. Macros are 527 grams of carbs, 126 grams of fat, and 277 grams of protein. So there you have it, kids. That's what I mean right now to get big. We're only going up from here, so see you in the next video. Did I do that too slow? <laughs> Was that your outro? Yeah, I love <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Okay, bye.